Two pivotal elections in the Midwest could be sparking a political shift, not only between Democrats and Republicans, but also the key issues of crime and abortion. In Wisconsin, a Democratic win in the state Supreme Court race bringing the fate of abortion rights center stage in a top battleground state. And in Chicago, Brandon Johnson elected the next mayor, beating out Paul Vallis and becoming the second black man to lead the city. But the issue of crime dominated the race, highlighting tensions between Democrats on how to tackle it. News Nation's Kelly Beeson is live for us in Madison, Wisconsin. Kelly, you have a closer look at the bigger picture here. Yeah, Nicole, as you know and mentioned there, it's really these two Midwest races took on issues of national importance, and you mentioned them, abortion and crime. And so for these two newly elected candidates, their campaigns will be studied, and big changes may be coming. Janet Protasiewicz emerging victorious in a state Supreme Court election that garnered national attention, broke records for turnout and spending, and ended the court's 15 years of conservative control. They've chosen to reject partisan extremism in this state. While her victory remarks focused largely on justice in the courtroom, her campaign was arguably centered on abortion. I believe in a woman's freedom to make her own decision on abortion. It's time for a change. Um, with the Supreme Court's reversal of Roe versus Wade, all these fights that have been fought nationally for years um, are now fought at the local and state level. So suddenly, um, these state judges matter much more than they ever have. And the results of the election have nationwide implications. Over the past quarter century, four Wisconsin presidential elections have been decided by less than a percentage point. Party time, party time. And as we saw in 2020, close elections in swing states can wind up in front of state Supreme Courts, determining who controls the White House. I can't wait to be sworn in as the next mayor of the greatest city in the world. In Chicago, a union organizer and former teacher, Brandon Johnson, is the newly elected mayor. It comes as the city grapples with financial challenges and high crime. His win comes despite the head of the police union claiming Johnson's victory would ensure police officers would walk off the job and his opponent, Paul Vallis, making crime central to his campaign. What it signals is that Democrats shouldn't necessarily close the door on progressive candidates. Um, and just because they take a different approach to the issue of public safety and crime, um, that doesn't necessarily mean it's a hindrance. Now, Protasiewicz will begin her 10-year term in August. Johnson is said to be sworn in next month. Nicole. All right, Kelly, thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.